I'm Simon Dewsbury, PGA Staff Professional here at Belmont Country Club. In today's video, we're going to look at warm-up routines and what we can do if we've only got a limited time before we actually tee off. Do we get stuck in work, get stuck in traffic, or we've got to drop the kids off somewhere before we can actually get to the golf course. So we're going to look at what we can do in terms of stretch out and hit a few balls on the range before we actually get to the first tee. Let's go. Okay, if we don't have a huge amount of time, we do want to though get at least um, an efficient warm-up session in. Now, the stretches we've already talked about and shown you in this video, we can get the golf club back in our hands, and now we're going to go straight into hitting a few golf balls. We don't need to hit a huge amount in order to get ready. All we want to do is hit just five very small, easy swings. Just little pitch shots, really. But these first few, we're not really focused on target acquisition. All we're doing is we're just beginning to get the brain and the body synced into golf swing mode. These are all just about beginning to warm the muscles up before I actually make them do some hard, strenuous work with a full swing. And that's five gone. We're now going to hit another five. And all we're going to do now is we're just going to build that swing up a little bit. So it's a little bit more towards a full swing size, but still with very, very little effort not really trying to kill the golf ball at this point. Just smooth, easy swings and just gradually building up towards full swing in size. And these have all just been played with my gap wedge. So again, because it's a lofted club, it doesn't get me into that mindset that I'm trying to kill the golf ball too early in my warm-up routine. But now I've hit those 10 shots, I'm gonna stretch out a little bit into something less lofted. Uh, it's the 26th today. So the way I wanna work through my golf bag is that on odd days of the week, I would go through my wedges and then my nine, seven, five irons and then into my hybrid. And on even days, I would go my pitching wedge, eight, six and four iron and then into my three wood and my driver. So today's the 26th. I'm going into my eight iron now. We got a little bit more speed into this now with the eight iron. But again, these first kind of five balls that we hit with the eight iron or the nine iron, whatever it is, depending on the day, I'm not too concerned with my direction at this moment in time, because these ones I'm just beginning to build the speed up now in the swing.
So there's 15 balls hit. It's only taken about, I don't know, four minutes. Now I'm going to move up then to my six iron and get another five golf balls out. And this is the point where I am now going to start to walk into my normal pre-shot routine, pick a target out, pick my intermediate targets. And now I'm trying to see what my shot shape is. A little bit right of target with that one. Check my alignment. So what feels like I'm targeting the white flag is coming down about 15 yards right of that at the moment but I'm not gonna to get too concerned and worried about that and try and fix that issue. I'm gonna hit all five golf balls exactly the same, see what's going on. There's the shoulder injury playing up. Last one of those five. So it doesn't feel like or look like there's a lot of deviation in terms of ball flight. They're all going pretty straight but about 15 yards right of where I was aiming. So I'm not gonna get worried about the swing itself and try and fix the swing before I go and play. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check my alignment now and I'm just gonna aim myself 15 yards left of that flag. Again, ball flight pretty straight. Now I'm coming down on my target zone, on that white flag. So I don't think it was a swing issue. It's just where my alignment itself was. What felt like was square was actually a little closed. And now what feels like I'm aiming 15 yards left is actually getting me square to my target. Little pull on that one. But I'm not panicking about trying to set myself up and make adjustments to the swing to get me back to where I was, where I feel like I'm square, and then correcting the swing to get it back to being on the target even though when I was square, I was hitting it 15 yards right.
true, dead straight at the white flag. So it felt like I was aiming at the bunker on the left, but my ball's going exactly where I want it to. So that is gonna be my feel as I go out to play. I'm just gonna stretch out now to a hybrid and go through that same routine and just have my target now 15 yards left of that black flag. And that's doing what I want. So don't panic if you're missing your target, just make the adjustment to the setup positions. So if the swing is allowing you to hit the ball straight, but it's going straight right or straight left, just adjust the body position that little bit to get you back onto your target. I'm happy with that. And now, last couple of swings, just with the driver. Same routine. And five yards of draw coming over that black flag. I'm happy. That will be my warm up if I'm rushed. Now I'm just going to go over and I'm going to do a little bit of short game, a few minutes on the putting green, get a feel for the pace of the greens, and then I'm ready to walk to the first tee. All right, now that was if we were just doing a 20 minute warm up session before we had to walk to the tee. If we only had maybe five minutes, I would even forget about this, okay? All I would do at that point in time would be to spend a couple of minutes trying to get a feel for the pace of the greens and a couple of minutes chipping and then a couple of seconds just stretching the body out. Everything is gonna help to gear you up to play better golf. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you've got any comments, leave them down below. Any suggestions for future?